Well, I just want to welcome everybody to Africa and our first birthday, and we're really, really proud that we've had our Africa section open for a year now, and we've had lots of really fun events. So, for starters, we had a special experience last December with our rhinos. And, Bindi, do you want to tell about what happened last December? Oh, absolutely. Well, last December, we were filming a new show called Bindi's Boot Camp which is now out to ABC3. But what was interesting is for one of the obstacle courses in Bindi's Boot Camp, you can actually see it, it's just behind us. Yeah. It's called the Dangerous Dash. Now, the Dangerous Dash overlooks our African savanna, which is really exciting, well and good, because you can see all the animals. Except our rhinos decided to demonstrate the birds and the bees yes. while we were filming Bindi's Boot Camp. So the poor kids got an education. It was like the Discovery Channel here at Australia yeah. Zoo while we were filming. So we had to wait 10 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes, half an hour, 30 minutes, waiting for them to stop. Mm. But we could the good news filming. is they're pregnant, which is awesome. So um, probably around April, um, We'll have little baby rhinos. Yes. And we have the only giraffe dating facility in Queensland. Mm -hmm. We have found that although the, rhino, the giraffe aren't successfully breeding yet, they are, they are dating and they're getting there. They're learning. And when they grow up, we hope to have baby giraffe as well. So it's very special. They're doing yeah. dinner in the movies at the moment. Yeah. Lovely soft mm -hmm. candlelight. Yes. 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 Very, very exciting. And the zebras are all boys, so there's a whole different story there. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Does this fit your dream of what you wanted when you first started Africa? I, I think that the dream was something that I shared with Steve and our team here at Australia Zoo. The dream was to showcase Africa as no one in Queensland has been doing it. And I think we've done it so successfully. To have people come here from Africa and say, this reminds me of home, is incredibly special. We've had people that may be to the point where they're too elderly to get back to Africa to visit, and they come here just to reminisce. So this school holidays, Bindi's got a new show, and we're celebrating Africa all school holidays. So it'll be special for Queenslanders to get to come and celebrate with us. It was just about two months before we lost Steve that we finished our 10-year business plan. So for me, it's continuing to make Steve's dreams come true and bring to fruition what we planned all those years ago. And we're, we're not there yet, but we're still, still moving ahead with what he wanted to, to do. And this is so important. And it's kind of that mixed emotion of being so excited and proud and so sad that he's not here to experience it. But we are determined to keep his dream alive.